Welcome to the F5 Networks Advanced Web Application Firewall Demo Series. In this demo, we'll show how to enforce global settings for file types with Big IP Advanced WEF. F5 Networks Industry Leading Web Application Firewall. This is Demo 11 of the AWEF Demo Series, and it's intended for new to intermediate level Big IP Advanced WEF users. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit malicious web application requests. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the backend web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request and can block all malicious requests and prevent them from going to the backend web servers. We'll start by looking at the virtual server we'll be protecting. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. We'll create a big IP advanced WEF security policy to protect the virtual server. We'll give the policy a name. Select the template type, which for this policy will be rapid deployment. And the virtual server we're protecting. We'll also put the security policy into blocking mode. That's all it takes to create a basic security policy with big IP advanced WEF. We'll now examine the Advanced WEF Allowed File Types page. This page displays all the explicit file types allowed in this security policy. However, this security policy is not configured to enforce specific file types. The asterisk, or wildcard entry, identifies that all file types are allowed. We're going to modify some attributes that all file types must adhere to. We'll click the asterisk to configure these settings. These settings identify the maximum length, in bytes, of specific aspects of requests, such as the maximum HTTP request length, or the maximum query string length. Currently, all settings are set to any, which means the security policy will allow requests of any length. We'll apply custom settings for all four of these length values. Notice that the Perform Staging checkbox is not selected. This ensures that Big IP Advanced WEF will enforce these length values for all file types. We can now see the custom length value settings that all file types must adhere to. Next, we'll add file type violation enforcement using the Learning and Blocking Settings page. This page is used to configure nearly all security policy settings. We'll expand the file type section. For all file type violations, we'll select the alarm and block checkboxes. This ensures that Big IP Advanced WEF will block requests that violate the length values we configured previously, and we'll also add an entry in the Advanced WEF event log. We'll now save and apply the policy. When updating a security policy with Big IP Advanced WEF, you must always click Apply Policy to see the changes in the application. We'll now access the web application as a malicious user and attempt some illegal requests. We'll use the Damn Vulnerable Web Application, or DVWA for short. First, notice that we are accessing a PHP file. The security policy doesn't prevent us from accessing this file type. Now, we'll attempt to access the index.php file with an extremely long query string. This request is blocked by the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy.
Notice we can also access HTML files. Again, we'll attempt to access this HTML page with a long query string. Once again, this request is blocked by Advanced WEF. We'll now use this page to submit a user review for the web application. Notice this review contains a large amount of text. This request, using an input field, is blocked, because it exceeds the length we defined for HTTP POST requests. We'll now use a utility called Burp Suite. Burp Suite enables us to examine and modify an HTTP request before sending it to the web server. After accessing this page, we can view the request in Burp Suite. We can then modify the request by adding several additional request headers. We'll now attempt to forward this request to the web server. This extremely long HTTP request is also blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's view the Big IP Advanced WEF event log. First, we'll filter the log files to view only blocked log entries. This request was blocked because it had an illegal query string length. We configured the wildcard entry with a query string length of 1,200 bytes, and this request for the PHP file type was for 1,518 bytes, which violated the security policy. This request for the HTML file type was for 1,632 bytes which also violated the security policy. This request was blocked because it violated the HTTP post data length, which we configured with a length of 2000 bytes, and this request was for 2212 bytes. And finally, this request was blocked because it had an illegal HTTP request length. We configured the wildcard entry with an HTTP request length of 4000 bytes, and this request with an OEXT file type was for 4109 bytes, which violated the security policy. Next, we'll access the web application again. We'll attempt to access the confidential readme.md web server configuration file directly, using the URL field. We are successful. Let's try to access another file directly, the private.txt file. Again, we are successful. Currently, this security policy isn't enforcing specific file types. We'll now prevent access to these files by adding both file types to the disallowed file types list. When allowing all file types, this is an ideal way of preventing access to a few specific file types. Notice that there are already several file types added to the disallowed file types list. This is because we used the rapid deployment policy template. We'll now add the MD file type. And now the txt file type. And then we'll apply the policy. Now, let's return to the web page and reload the private.txt file. The request is now blocked by Big IP Advanced WEF. Let's retry accessing the readme.md file. Because the web browser loaded a cached page, we'll reload the browser. This request is also blocked. Let's examine these blocked requests in the big IP advanced web event log. We can see that this request was blocked because it's a disallowed file type. And the file type was md. 
Thank you for watching this demonstration on enforcing global file type settings using F5 Big IP Advanced WEF. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos. And for more details on how Advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.